It's Sven from SceneCraft and in this Q&A session we want to talk about unregistered users and how to allow unregistered users to submit any kind of content and even create new users during submission. The only need, the only form field we need to allow a user to get created during his first post submission is the user email address so that we can trigger the activation process. So let's go into everything in detail. I'm here in the simple post form this is the form builder if you look under permissions at first we have an option public submittable and if you set this access for unregistered users the form gets accessible for unregistered users if you click logged in users the option change but in this video we want to talk about access for unregistered users and it's possible by just checking this option. And now if you put this form shortcode into any page, users, unregistered users can use this form. In the next step, often you want to create a user account in the same process. And that is possible if you select create an account. So check that option. We'll create two new tabs in the sidebar. You see them here. Do it again. And in this tab, you can define everything what is needed to have the complete registration process done in the same moment as the post is processed and created. So let's see into that options in detail quickly. We have generate password to auto generate the password so the user don't need to create the password. And we have also automatically create the user from the email address. So we are taking the first part of the email address. We add a number behind so that you even don't need to ask for a username. If you want to do so, we have all the user fields from WordPress available as form elements. And you can just add the username as form element. And then you don't need to auto generate the user from the email address. And you can select an activation page. So after they activate it, you can say, welcome to our network of publishers. This is the activation message subject and text, and you can modify it to your needs and also use short codes um, text to define the style and where you want to display links, relevant links for the activation. The last three options are for the form name, the form email. So you can define um, the mail header with um, from name and an email. And of course, the user rule you want to give the new user after he's successfully registered and click the activation link. I hope this video helps you to understand how to allow unregistered users to submit any kind of content and even register them during the process of the first submission. If they're already registered and they are coming to that form, you can also enable a login form above or under the form. This will enable your users to log in if they're already registered. I hope that video helps you. If you have any questions, let us know. We like to create more videos. Thanks for watching.